they want to make sure I'm warm tomorrow. We do have one for you, by the way, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> There's the dog uh, strangling the quip. You can take that hey, tomorrow. Wait, you have to show it. Yeah, I know. There you show. go. Okay. Thank you. It looks nice in the white. I bet they saw that. It, it does not say quips. It says dogs. Okay, hey, look. They've never played for a state championship before. These people just don't know how to act. And I guess I don't know how to act either. At Berwick High School a little earlier this afternoon, a student pep rally, and tonight, a bonfire as the town comes out in full for the dogs. The Bulldogs and the Quip, the two best football teams in this state, and I don't care what the people in 4A think, Tim Carlson went to Aliquippa to find out how the Bulldogs stack up against the super team. Aliquippa, ranked number two in the country by the USA Today newspaper and first in many statewide polls. With all that talk around, you might think the Quips are cocky and confident about beating Berwick. Why should we be any more cocky or confident about what we were able to do well than Berwick? I mean, they were the mythical national champions in 1983. They're currently 14-0. and they, they carry as much aura about themselves in the eastern part of the state as we do in the western part of the state. If anybody's cocky coming into this game, I hope it's them because I know it won't be us. We like the, uh, the role we're going to be in. We like to be in the underdog role. We've never, it's, it's something new to us, and of course, you know, they're ranked very high in USA Today and all the national polls, and, and like I told our, our fellas, I, hey, you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Both teams overflow with talent. Berwick has several top-notch college prospects led by record-breaking quarterback Jake Kelchner. Aliquippa's media releases list seven players headed for Division I colleges and universities. But the guy at the top of the blue chip quip list has to be linebacker Sean Gilbert, who also doubles as an offensive guard and is literally the biggest man on the team. He's uh, six foot five and three quarters. He's 271 pounds. He runs a 4840, which is awful quick for that kind of physical stature. Neither team had any problem scoring points this year. Berwick with 507 in 14 games, Aliquippa with 421. We score a lot of touchdowns, just, just straight bombs. They take off and they throw the bomb. We do have those big plays because we have big play guys on our offensive scheme. You know, we have great uh, deep threat receivers and we have running backs that can break it. Everybody talks about Berwick's great offense, about the fact we scored 430 or 40 points, whatever it is, but we've only given up. Uh, I think it's uh, 84 points on the year, and they've only given up 70-some points on the year. That's where you win, and that's where you get to the state championship game. The folks who make up those national and statewide polls may have an edge going to Aliquippa in tomorrow's game, but both teams aren't paying much attention to that stuff. We don't walk into any game thinking it's that easy. You know, we uh, take every opponent in straw. We, uh, we never let up. When you play high school kids, it's all between the ears, and you know, whoever wants it the most that day, We'll probably win the game. Tim Carlson, Newswatch 16 Sports. State championship game, 1 o'clock tomorrow in Hershey. You can see it here live on 16. And if you're out in the car, you can hear it on WARD Radio. And